In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. Stir up your power, we pray, O Lord, and come that with you to protect us. We may find rescue from the pressing dangers of our sins, and with you to set us free, we may be found worthy of salvation. We live and reign with God the Father in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 9, verses 27, 31. At that time, as Jesus passed on, two blind men followed him, crying aloud, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus sternly charged them, See that no one knows it. But they went away and spread his fame through all that district. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Friday to you. I've chosen a theme, the faith that heals. My dear good listener, in today's Gospel text, we find two blind men. Yes, although they were physically blind, but their hearts were not blind because they were able to see Jesus and they were able to have faith in him to give them what they wanted. Yes, Jesus talks about some other people who have eyes but they cannot see. They have ears but they cannot hear. Instead, in today's gospel, Jesus hails the faith of these two blind men. They could not see physically yet inwardly in their hearts. They were able to recognize the power in Jesus. They were able to recognize the mercy in Jesus. That's why they say, crying aloud, have mercy on us, son of David. They recognize that only Jesus could have mercy on them. Only Jesus could heal them. And so they express this faith verbally, but it is a faith that comes from their hearts. And so Jesus asks them, do you believe that I'm able to do this? And the blind men who were not seeing him physically say, yes, Lord. They even call him Lord. Yet those who are seeing, who had seen what Jesus had performed, the Pharisees, the scribes, and the crowds of people, they never got healed. Physically, they kept on seeing, but inwardly, they remained blind. My dear good listener, which group do you belong to? The two blind men say, yes, Lord, we believe. And so Jesus touches their eyes. My dear good listener, do you want Jesus to touch you so that you may get healed? The question has only one answer, and the answer is faith. And so when these two men say, yes, Lord, Jesus responds, according to your faith, let it be done to you. So you will find this in many other texts, that Jesus heals because of faith. When people have faith, he does miracles. The first miracle Jesus performed of changing water into wine, it was because of his mother who had expressed faith in him on behalf of those who were at the wedding party at Cana. Yes, you remember even the other woman who for 12 years had a hemorrhage, was bleeding for 12 years. She touched the cloak of Jesus and Jesus responds to her, Woman, your faith has healed you. You remember the other centurion who was not an Israel, who expressed a great faith in Jesus. And Jesus says, 
in Israel have not seen such faith. And because of his faith, his servant got healed. You remember also the other four men who brought the paralytic. When Jesus saw their faith, he healed the paralytic. My dear good listener, what works for Jesus is faith. You also remember the other woman, a Canaanite, who had a daughter being tormented by the devil, to whom Jesus said, you cannot give bread to the dogs. And the woman responds, yes, even the dogs eat the crumbs of that bread that fall off from the table of the master. And Jesus also got surprised about the faith of this woman. And so heals the daughter. So my dear good listener, it's about faith. For Jesus, if you want a miracle, it's not about going around praying and if everyone knows that you are praying. Nothing. What moves Jesus to act is faith. So my question to you therefore is, do you have faith? Do you have that faith that heals you? Because Jesus will tell you, it is your faith that has healed you. So to say, the language that Jesus understands is faith. If you don't have faith, nothing happens. In the day of St. Faustina, number 1520, Jesus says to St. Faustina, I have opened my heart as a living fountain of mercy. Let all souls draw life from it. Let them approach this sea of mercy with great trust. Sinners will attain justification and the just will be confirmed in good. Whoever places his trust in my mercy will be filled with my divine peace at the hour of death. My dear good listener, it is trust and trust comes from faith. You can't have trust without faith. So Jesus again is demanding from us sinners faith. May God increase our faith just like he did to the disciples who asked him in Luke chapter 17 verse 5, Lord, increase our faith. May this indeed be our prayer. The Lord be with you. May the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you the very best of the day and kindly share this good news with your friends. Have mercy on us and on the whole world.